What's up, everybody? C Jack here, and this is Comic Con 2024. I'm your host. Uh, welcome to CJ's Travels. I'm ecstatic right now. This was part of my huge bucket list of things to do for this summer, and I finally made it. I just checked in, got my badge. Uh, we're gonna check out a few panels, check out some cosplays, and some more geek news. I got three Mandalorians and a watermelon. That's true. That's true. Uh, is this your guys' first Comic Con, or are you guys enjoying it so far? First Comic Con. Second for us. Cool. What do you guys look forward to uh, coming to this event so far? Uh, who's coming up? Any panelists? That kind of thing. Well, uh, definitely meeting you know people that we see on TV and stuff. I've been looking for Ashley Eckstein, who plays yes. Ahsoka in Star Wars, uh, for like four conventions now. And I and every time she's on the wrong day that we don't have tickets to, she just dips. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I finally got her this year. VIP. Oh, tickets. you're satisfied. You're straight. So I, I'll get her on Sunday. Yeah, I'm trying to get um, Seth MacFarlane. I just missed him by a few minutes, but he said yes to an interview, so stay tuned for that. How about you guys? Um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Steve Blue. Or Blum, I forgot his name. Spike? Yeah. Spike, Spike uh, Wolverine. All those guys. All those guys, man. He's a, he's a good childhood memory for all those characters. He is OG. Yeah, he is. So hopefully I can talk to him. Like, I could give me some pointers, because I am trying to do Oh, really? Attack. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. No, I respect that. How about you two? Exclusives. That's why I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. here for those exclusives. That's it. Yeah. Anything I get my hands on that make more of a collection. <laughs> that part. I do need to expand my man cave while we're on the subject. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Uh, basically, the sites, the events, celebrities, whatever's going on. Hey, whatever folks, man. Uh, you guys suiting up real quick after we got that? Sure. These guys, I had to stop them real quick. They had the sickest, you know, Mandalorian from Star Wars gear that you've ever seen. Um, he has a microphone and everything, man. You know, bring him in hot or bring him in cold. <laughs> While they're suiting up, be sure to check out uh, my interviews that I have from X Men 97, Lenore Zan, and also all the interviews of Combos and Crafts, my other spin off series right here on C Jack Productions. All right. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And our journey begins. There was so much to do at this con. It was so massive and overwhelming. I didn't know what to do with myself. And I was very shocked that my reputation precedes me, especially with this hey, guy right hey, here. Hey, guy from YouTube. Yeah. CJ Productions, right? Yes, I am. How you doing? Doing great, man. Oh, cool, cool. All right. Oh, my God. You're feel free to see my, my uh, subscribers. I'm sorry. Get me off guard there. Oh, man. I follow you on YouTube, dude. You're the best, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate I love, it. I love your content. I know, I know I'm interrupting. I'm so sorry. I know, I know no, you're good. Friends. Yeah. But dude, I, I, I love your content, man. You're so good. Uh, it, it's 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 so well produced. Thank you. I love I love your particular takes on things. Yep. I, I, I feel like we align a lot. So, exactly. So, Especially so, with the Marvel, DC, and everything. Exactly. Exactly. See? I mean. I appreciate it, man. All right, no problem. You guys have any links for my audience to check out or whatever? Uh, if you guys would like, check me out at Cannon Shout on Twitter or um Instagram. That C A N O N shout Twitter and Instagram. All right, I know this guy first. <laughs> thanks I know a lot. Him first. He's the best. Trust me. All right, thanks a lot, man. This is for fellow fan. Make time for you. Of course. The place for everybody at this con. And speaking to everybody, this little hottie right here. And I have the most gorgeous Harley Quinn. What is your actual name? Or give it. Uh, so my name is actually Alexa, but on Instagram I go by Dame Cause. Uh, yeah. But yes, yes. <laughs> Today I am Harley Quinn. So. And you're killing it quite well. Thank Classic you. Harley Quinn. And I'm obviously there's a band going on, so I had to compete with the noise. Sorry about that, folks. So uh, what are you looking forward to most at Comic Con right now? Like, what's your Marvel, DC, anything general? Well, this is actually my first time coming to San Diego Comic Con. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I would say my favorite thing that I'm looking forward to is hopefully trying to get into that 85 years of Batman panel. <laughs> yes! That is my goal. That is the ultimate goal right Same now. Here. That, no, I'm waiting for that and we found him. Oh, I, nice. I, and I missed him barely by a few minutes. Oh, man. Well, hopefully you know me maybe at the next one. Of course. So this is my first time here too. Okay. Also, um, I was kind of curious, what other cosplays have you done and any links or shout outs that you guys want to throw out there? Well, um, I've actually done quite a few cosplays. Um, lately, I've been working on Mystique. Uh, I do quite a few Mystiques. <laughs> Um, I did uh, for the WonderCon as well as the LA Comic Con. I did the Hellfire Gala, so I did yes. the Mystique Feather Dress, I that really that. big one. Yeah. Uh, so right now I'm actually working on like the comic book accurate Mystique because I've done like every other version 
but comic book accurate. You know, old school, white and blue. Yep, old school. Hey, did you mind taking a spin real quick? Absolutely gorgeous. Share a comic. Hey everybody, C Jack here at Comic Con 2024. Brought to you by Ryzen Electronics, my happy sponsor of my YouTube channel. Need a brand new PC? Need a new laptop? You're a gamer? Just need a laptop in general? Hit up Ryzen Electronics in the description below. Sorry. Magneto was right! Magneto was right! Hey, Roshi. I saw you. Magneto was right. Okay, guys, so I'm taking a breather right now, and I'm just going to be having... Are you oh, CJ from the YouTube channel? I, I am. Oh, hi. Well, I hope you have a good day. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right. This is downright adorable right here. So poor adorable. This con had something for everybody, especially for us 80s babies right here. Guess who these guys were? Uh, this is CJ's Travels. I got Storm Shadow and Shipwreck here. How are you guys doing today? Well, you know, I'm down in Chula Vista anyways. I just took a dinghy up here. You know, me and Polly. Ah, easy, sailor. <laughs> He sounds just like the character. And Storm Shadow, what are you looking forward to actually for this next con? Shipwreck talking less. <laughs> Say that again? Shipwreck talking less. Of course, of course. Right. <laughs> right. Um, did you guys see the trailer for Deadpool or anything yet? Or? Trailer, yeah. It looks trailer, amazing. Yeah. yeah. I put my name in the lottery to try to get it. So hey, you never know. You never know. Um, are you guys hoping to check out the Transformer panel or whatnot? Uh, oh, the anything? Jumping, the G.I. Joe panel. G.I. Joe panel. Yeah, that's at be. five. That's fine today, right? If I left Barnacle, I would have missed that one. Yeah. Of course, they're of course. Be, they're going to either announce the Cobra Rattler, or they're going to announce the Cobra Rattler. Or it might be the Cobra Rattler. It's oh, kind oh. of a, a toss-up. It's kind of a trifecta. Yeah. All right, oh, um, how many guys are going to be here for? All three days, or what? This so, guy's a lifer. I used to live here, but I'm here for oh. the whole thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Sunday. It's just till Sunday. Yeah, I'm like me, I'm a Saturday part-time. All right, guys. Well, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you love very much. No one's after battle. <laughs> no one's after battle. So recuperating from sensory overload, I decided to go into the Bible to see what I can look into. And wow, there was just so much to absorb. So I had enough of the con for right now and decided to do some R&R &R in a city I'm not familiar with. My room was very comfy, but I still felt kind of enclosed. So I explored the sites. Okay, so I got my rant so far in regards to San Diego so far. <clears throat> One, the food is amazing. Two, it's overpriced. One, they have a lot of accoutrements that help you get across town. Three, it's too much. Four, it's not as ratchet as people think it is. San Diego is actually really nice compared to like Vegas and whatnot. Five, it's expensive, it's too much. <laughs> Even by Vegas standards. That's all I got so far. Although the eye candy is superb. San Diego is a very nice city during the day, but I was more interested in its nightlife. And what better way for me to check out things than to check out the nightclub that all the cast of X-Men 97 was attending. What's up guys, C Jack here, and I'm at Park Nightclub where the Comic-Con San Diego after party is being held. I'm gonna go inside and see if I can get a chance to interview any of the cast or crew that was here for X-Men 97. You know, I actually had a really good time at this establishment. It's not Vegas, but it was done really well. Even ran into this guy. Talked briefly about what happened to him in X-Men 97. Needless to say, everybody knows that he was wrongfully actually executed for such a marvelous project, no pun intended. And we traded information, and that'll be an interview for another time. Personality-wise, he's extremely down to earth, and I honestly respect him greatly for comments, but they were just trying to have a good time, and I respect their wishes. And I'm Sunspot's mom. And I'm going to go to the mail, creator, and show her about the 97. I, for one, am not too much to the starstruck detail of all this stuff, but I was very impressed with the passion and the understanding of being a nerd in this environment, mixing hip-hop and nerdisms alike. And the cosplays were really done very nicely for all the attendees who came to the nightclub. This one cosplayer caught my attention who played the role of Mr. Sinister. I had to get an interview. 
But right now, I got this sick Mr. Sinister cosplay. Tell the audience what your name is, sir. Uh, my name is Nathan. I go by the stage name King Knight when I'm with my bands. Uh, that's, uh, people call me Mr. Sinister in general, but I'll take any monitor. He's a sick ass Mr. Uh, Sinister. How long did it take you to get that done? Uh, the makeup, about 20 minutes. The cape took me an entire day to cut up. It's not bad. With the diamond and then really? the, uh, and then the belt, and then the diamond on my forehead takes like five minutes. Just a little bit of eyelash glue and the diamond sticks on. You would think that would be the easiest part, but you would think. But <laughs> the, the hardest part is making sure that I don't sweat it off, which has happened before. Good point. So non non sweat makeup, right? Right. So is this your first Comic Con or? Oh, uh, just no. I've been coming since I was like five years old on my dad's shoulders. Oh yeah, you broke this place. This is my first time for me. All right, well, um, anywhere my audience can reach you out? Or, of course, you can find my band, uh, Nox Sinister, that is N-O-X Sinister, on all social media platforms, at Nox Sinister. Here is my little calling card. But uh, we are a Mr. Sinister sort of uh, inspired, the name of the band, my look on stage, and then some of the subject matter of what we do. So we do heavy metal about high concept stories, so gotcha. medieval fantasy, some, right. dark, some dark fantasy, horror films, comic books. I dig it, I dig it. Uh, and Killing Morphs. Yeah. <laughs> next album. Next, next, next album, album yeah. of course. All right, well, thank you. Share, comment, subscribe, and I'll leave a link below where you guys can check out his work and his band. And don't forget, stay sinister. Well, that was it for me, the Park Nightclub. Now, Time for some food. I was honestly getting hangry, and I don't care what anybody says. That's a real thing. So I decided to stop by this place called the Crack Shack, and oh my god, they had this fantastic mint shake. Five dollar shake. It was amazing. But my night quest was not done yet. San Diego is a very interesting city. It's not quite San Francisco, it's not quite Vegas, but it's in between. A lot of sights, a lot of lights, and I really enjoyed myself. That's all I got for day one for San Diego Comic Con 2024. Be sure to subscribe and check out my channel for the next two parts of this three part mini series. I'm going to leave you guys with this performance from Park Nightclub, and I wish you guys a good night.